Ken Faraday, and today we're making friendship sandwiches. But not just any friendship sandwich. We're going to add in Angry Orchard hard cider. It's all fresh, real apples in this little bottle. You're getting three recipes. We're gonna make a friendship sandwich, we're making beef stock, and I'm gonna show you how to make homemade mustard. Hold up, I think you're getting four because when I roast the beef, I'm showing you how to make roast beef. So we're gonna marinate this five pound piece of top round. For those of you guys who don't know what a friendship is, a friendship is a sandwich. It's not invented in France, by the way. It was invented in America. But it's basically roast beef, thinly sliced, put on a French baguette, and served with an au jus, which means with juice. Oy, oy, oy. Sweaty Betty over here, am I right? All right, look at that. Mm. So we've got all this really nicely grated apple right on into the meat. We're gonna rub it all over the meat, and then we're gonna add in two bottles of Angry Orchard hard cider. I'm marinating this in a bowl right now because I ran out of Ziploc bags, but it's also better for the environment, so you should use a bowl, okay, people? So what the apple's gonna do is there's a lot of acidity to it, and same with the cider, that's gonna help break down some of the tougher parts of the meat, um, make it more tender, make it really flavorful. It's gonna be a whole wham bam thank you ma'am of delicious apple goodness. Gonna cover this, refrigerator we go. If I have any room in my refrigerator, it's full of booze. Okay, so we're gonna make a beef stock. Making stocks is a very simple thing. A lot of people don't realize just how easy it is. Basically, it's a bunch of vegetables with some meat bones and then we're gonna strain it, and that's our beef stock, essentially. And into the oven it goes at 450 degrees, maybe about 15 minutes or so. We're gonna check it out and see how it's going. Oh yeah. No bones about it. Is that a thing? People say that? They do say Sicily. Look at this, this is looking so good. We're gonna put this into a big pot with some beef stock. Look at me, normally I would just like throw all this in here, but because I'm on camera with you guys, I'm using tongs like a civilized person. Oops. Carrot down. Give me that carrot. Toss it in. Yeah. Ground carrot. Beef stock goes in. All right, I will add in maybe like 10 peppercorns. Cool. Okay, so our stock has been cooking for about two hours and we are gonna strain it. Remove all the veggies and the bones and stuff. We got all that good flavor out of these bones. Let's get our beef. Look at that, that looks good. You can see that the juices from the freshly grated apple and then the juices from the Angry Orchard hard cider have really kind of penetrated the meat. It's gonna add a nice natural sweetness to it. It's gonna be good. How many times have I said natural sweetness so far? Drink, Sicily. Sicily, yeah, for those of you guys out there, natural sweetness, that's the code word, that and Sicily. It, like, we're making like a triple jus. It's gonna be so delicious. We're gonna add in the old vegetables and we're gonna use um, the stock. Basically, we're just gonna flavor the stock even more. Now the meat, we're gonna remove it from the marinade. Look at that. Looks good, right? We're gonna wipe off as best we can all of the grated apple because we don't, I mean, we wanna use that in the braise, but when I'm searing this, I don't want the apple on there because it will burn. One thing I always learned from all my old chef friends when we do these how-to videos, is that applying it from a height helps it to fall more evenly. We got our veggies ready, we got our meat kind of seasoned and ready to go, and then we're saving this marinade. And then we have our two cups of beef stock. So look at that, one recipe down already. Beef stock, homemade beef stock. Mmm, that smells so good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this right now in the braise, and then I'm gonna reduce this down even more. It's gonna be so good. All right, and here we go. So two restaurants in Los Angeles across the street from each other claim to have invented the friendship. They both were open in 1908. 
One claims it accidentally dropped the sandwich into the beef drippings. The other place says that it happened because a customer came in and didn't have any teeth and was gumming it, and so they dipped it to make it softer for that person to eat. Who knows? Who knows? But here we are. We're doing our own little twist on the classic. OK, so we're going to add in all of our veggies. Look at that. We're going to add our beef stock. So next up, we are going to add in the best ingredient ever, the secret ingredient to what makes our French dip different from all the other French dips out there. We're gonna add the marinade back in, which includes the Angry Orchard hard cider and the grated apples. So I'm gonna add about a cup of that into there. Just a little bit extra, cause why not? Ta-da! Okay. We're gonna put the lid on it and we're gonna bake it at 300 degrees until it reaches an internal temperature of about 140, which should take about an hour, hour and 20 minutes. <laughs> 141 exactly, it's exactly the temperature we want. So I'm gonna take the meat out, I'm gonna let it rest. Now at this stage, you've got roast beef. It's perfect, so that's our second recipe. You can put this in your fridge, slice it up, make sandwiches all week, eat it like that, throw some mustard on it, whatever you want. But what we're gonna do now is make our third recipe of the day, the French chip sandwich. Okay. We set this aside, bring this to a boil and let it reduce by half. Guess what, kids? That's right, we are making another recipe. We're making a homemade mustard. Mustard, in general, is my favorite of all the condiments. But our spicy mustard is gonna be made with some of the Angry Orchard hard cider. So typically, they, they'll put beer into theirs, but we're gonna do cider. It's gluten-free, it's delicious. Basically, this could be a gluten-free meal. If you have gluten-free bread, you can have a gluten-free sandwich. Okay, I'm just going to mash my garlic into a paste and it's gonna go into my mustard. About a half a cup of the mustard powder. We've got, follow me here, sugar, salt, paprika, turmeric. We're gonna add our garlic, white wine vinegar. And then I'm gonna do another six tablespoons of the Angry Orchard hard cider. All right, I'm gonna cook this on the stove <laughs> at like medium, let it simmer. So the way that this got its name, French dip, is because they're using a French baguette to put this on, but it was invented in America, okay? Make no mistake of that. If we have anything we can be proud of, it's this sandwich right here, oh God damn it. Sicily. The mustard's pretty much done. I'm gonna add a little bit of oil just to emulsify it a bit and help thicken it up. That's it. Mustard is done. Oh my God, it's like perfect. Look at this. God, I'm good. Whew. Oh my gosh, it's so good. It's so good. It's like slightly, it's sweet and beefy. Just the way I like my men. <laughs> Pete Davidson, I'm looking at you. <laughs> He is neither of those things. <laughs> I mean, this is absolutely amazing. That's beautiful. I'm gonna start putting this onto here. I'm gonna break it up into smaller pieces a little bit, just a little bit. We're gonna melt this cheese on top. Teach your own, some people put onions on their sandwich, some people put cheese, some people put no cheese. Do what you want. I like Swiss cheese on mine. And look at that. This now is gonna go into the broiler. Never ever serve me a sandwich that doesn't have the condiment all over it. Oh yeah. That is obscene. Oh my God, this is so ridiculous. This sandwich is basically done, but guess what? It's not because it's called a French dip. So what do we need? We need the au jus, which means with juice. And that is what is introducing back there. It's just so delicious. Look at this jus. 
Oh my gosh. The two restaurants that are famous for having invented um, French dip, one of them serves it, it's like a double dip. I think they both have the option of double dip, but you dip the entire sandwich in the jus and then you serve it with the jus on the side. That's the way I like it. I'm gonna do it like that. So, just gonna slice this in half. This is so fucking crazy. Oh yeah. Oh my God. Soaked in, nice and like soggy and delicious. And then you're gonna dip it in here also to eat it. Just a little bit more. Do that. Mmm. Mmm. Far out. That is so good. Mmm. You can taste the natural sweetness of the Angry Orchard hard cider, of the apples. The mustard is so good, it has a nice spice to it. The beef is super tender. It's like double dipped like this is the friggin' way. It's like that. Right on in there. Mmm. All I can say is, mmm. It's soggy in the best way possible. If I didn't have teeth, this is what I would want to eat. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy this. I hope you make it. Um, thank you so much. Hashtag cook munchies. For the recipe, click the link below and enjoy. Enjoy.